Remember the days when you could install an OS like Windows 7 or Windows XP and all you installed was the OS? With recent versions of Windows being as bloated as they are, it's no wonder that there are plenty of stripped down and modded versions available. The problem is, do you trust them? Well, I don't. Now, I really like what they've done with Ghost Spectre, but do I trust it in the slightest? Nope. Well, what if I told you that Microsoft already solved this problem? There's a stripped down version of Windows 10 and it's offered as Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC or Long-Term Servicing Channel. Now here's a fresh install of Windows 10. I'm sure this looks familiar. There's tons of garbage that no one wants. On this VM, it's using nearly two gigs of RAM with nothing else running. Well, here's a fresh install of Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. Notice it's just the operating system. No Candy Crush Saga or any of that junk. When we check, it's even only using a little over a gig of RAM. Now the best part, you can uninstall Edge. Once uninstalled, it reverts back to IE11, just like it was before. Now, some may say it won't be good for gaming because certain items aren't installed, like Xbox Game Bar or the Microsoft Store. Well, those can be installed optionally, just like it was in the olden days. You only install what you need. So what's the problem then? Or how do you get Enterprise LTSC? Well, you don't, at least not officially. See, you need to hold an agreement with Microsoft, like the Select Plus or MPSA, Basically, you need to have a volume license agreement set up with Microsoft. There are no single retail licenses available, well, at least not officially. Also, the ISO that's publicly available, yeah, well, that's just a 90-day evaluation version. And I've looked, and plenty of people have had problems converting it over. Now, of course, if you had an official non-eval ISO, you technically could crack it or run your own licensing server, such as PyKMS. I'm not saying to do that. That's just what some do. So yeah, it seems Microsoft makes more money off of selling people's data and installing other people's software than it does on their actual operating system. Well, that's it for now. It was just a quick one. I'm working on a few other things, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.